We will write a new chapter for Mary Harvard. First of all, we have five new counts. Campaign on three things. Honesty, integrity, and transparency. I will stand by them if elected mayor, and I will have, and you will have a voice at each meeting. The residents are what makes up our municipality. Should be proud to say, I belong to Mary Harbor. Mary Harbor and surrounding areas are mainly dependent on fishing, farming, tourism, and small business. There is a need to concentrate on these. Beautification is also something that is noticed by tourists and passage by. Over the last two and a half years, I've uh, tried to do my best. From renovations in this great hall to, uh, to uh, a um, new dog park, which I personally thought, well, we're stretching it doing a dog, dog park. But anyway, it ended up that there's many people from the area using our dog park. And it's turned out to be a success. Then we did the ball hockey. We've had a quite a change in councillors over, uh, we ended up just about not uh, having a council. We've got a brand new council, five new faces around the table. And that's a wonderful thing at this particular point in time. Um, my vision for the village is to work with those six individuals as a team. I'm not here to do anything except run the meetings properly and be the face of the village around the area and within the province. To develop our programs together, we have to deal with amalgamation, we have to deal with our long-range plan. Things have been ignored for the last couple of years. We've got to pick up the slack on that. And I've tried to make, uh, every, to take advantage of every opportunity that I can to learn more about governments and municipalities. So I've gone to all eight, in the eight years I've been here, I've gone to all of the annual and semi-annual meetings of the Federation of Municipalities, except for one. I took advantage of all other kinds of educational opportunities to learn as much as I could about governments. As elected mayor, I will work very hard with Mark to develop policies that will help us shape the decisions that we're going to make. The second thing is something that uh, I have, and again, Sean alluded to this, but I have uh, recognized that Southern Kings is changing, and changing pretty rapidly. We're having um, an influx of people coming in, not as, not as family units, but as huge groups. And that's changing what we look like. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be a lot of managed change, that it's just happening, and we're just reacting. I think I would like to work with the other municipalities and the uh, residents in the, um, in the um, whole area in the fire districts to try to see what can we do to try to manage this change so that our province remains the province we want it to be.